Now that we're at the tail end of this bar build series, it's time to get some make look pretty things going. I did a lot of things off camera because doing them on camera like the previous video makes things take twice as long and gives me nearly 20 times the material to sift through. For all the footage I have of Boo's shootout, the rough content for the last video in this series took up about one third the total space. There's no exaggeration there and that figure includes the content that has never made it to the channel. I used the CNC machine to cut out holes that look like bubbles in some oak. Each one of the four cu cutting sessions took at least 45 minutes. If you want to watch the full length of this clip, the link's in the description. I think this is a good time to bring up supporting your local brewers. We've said that time and again on this channel that supporting brewers that do new and interesting things is a good thing for beer and the beer community in general. We can't just tell them it's good. We can't just like a page on Facebook and slacktivism our way through this. Real support for a local or new brewer or a new business in general involves speaking with your wallet. Tell them you like what they do by buying what they do. Not just once, but go back for more if you really like it. That's kind of how capitalism works. This concept is why this bar's first keg is from Ernest Brewworks of Toledo, Ohio. New Sincerity is the name of this West Coast style of pale ale. I first had this beer a few years ago in one of the two owners' homes as a homebrew. I can't remember whose idea this one was, but the taste stayed with me. Josh and I both enjoy this beer and give it a solid four stars. It's excellent, and if you can get some, try it. The fact that I can now exchange U.S. dollars for this beer at an agreed-upon quantity is a fantastic thing, and I want this small outfit to get bigger so that the rest of you can have some of this readily. I'm keg customer number two for them, and I wear that badge with pride.